I went to Iran many years ago as the wife of an Iranian physician, and I have lived off and on in Iran since 1931, so that I have become very much attached to the country. And because five of my seven children were born in Iran, for the rest of my life, I will be interested in this country. When I went to Iran, I was one of the first American technicians there, and at that time there were just two nurses. And about the second day that I was there, our medical director called us in the office, and he said, <clears throat> I have a few instructions for you nurses. He said, I'll make it very brief. You are to learn Persian, you are to drive a Jeep, and you're to start your program. And that was it. Well, it, of course, it was no problem for me uh, to learn Persian. I already had many years before. But the question of driving a Jeep, that was my most difficult uh, assignment. I had always driven a car, at least for many years. But driving a Jeep in Iran is quite different from driving a Jeep in America. How did the people feel when you arrived at the villages? Did they know you were coming? I'm going to say the village. I forget the name of it, but... Oh, uh, perhaps you wanted to tell <laughs> about Koshkirud. Yeah, that's it, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Koshkirud means dry river, and one of the first villages that we worked in was in this village. Uh, the village people had written to the director of Point Four in Iran and said, if Point Four is going to take care of the poor people, they should come to our village. We think we are the poorest people in the world. No one has ever been to see us. We've never seen a doctor, and many of our village people have never been outside of the village. So I thought, well, this sounds interesting. So uh, I drove in my Jeep to this village, and the people were really wonderful, as all of the village people of Iran are, they gave me a great welcome. And when they heard that there was a possibility that we would send our mobile unit, uh, our first mobile unit, to their village, they were so happy that they cried. 